back to my channel. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. My name is Sam. If you are new, welcome. I am so grateful that you clicked on my video. For today's video, I have my August favorites. I know I didn't do a monthly favorites last month. I'm very like repetitive with my makeup routine and I was just using the same things that I'm used to and that I loved. Um, so I like skipped last month. So I decided to just show you the things that I have been loving for this month of August and I guess July as well. If you want to know what those favorites are, then just keep on watching. Oh, and I forgot to mention, I'm a brunette now. Um, yeah, I decided uh, I wanted to like go back to like my like natural color and so far I'm like loving it. I just need to get a, like a little bit used to like, you know, being brunette. I'm going to start off with foundations. And I actually have two foundations here. I did uh, both first impressions and kind of like a wear test and review. If you guys haven't watched those, I'll be linking them out here and in the description box. And the first one is this Stay Naked by Urban Decay Foundation. Guys, like if you guys haven't picked this up, like you guys are sleeping on it, like go and pick it up. It's such a good foundation. And I also have the Pure Cosmetics uh, Love Your Selfie Foundation. This also has been like my go-to. Like these two, I haven't put them down. Like they're so good. Then Stay Naked gives you a more of a like medium coverage and you can definitely build it up. It's what I'm wearing today. Um, and that's, I have oily skin so I need to make sure that my foundation is going to stay in place. This one has really been doing an amazing job just staying on my face and not like just, you know, like disappearing because I hate when that happens. This one I've been loving. Um, I love the Pure Cosmetics as well. This one has been like my go-to as well. The only thing is that this one tends to get a little bit tackier a little bit earlier than the Stay Naked. So I've been like grabbing this one a little bit more than this one, but definitely are my two favorites for the month. They are amazing, amazing foundations. You can definitely pick up a um, sample. I believe Sephora has both of them. I'm not sure. Pure is at Ulta, and I'm pretty sure you'll be able to like ask for a um, sample just to try it at home. So yeah, I've been loving those foundations. The next one I have here, this is the BFF uh, ColourPop Volumizing Mascara. I have the brown one right here, which is uh, called Brownie Points. And this one and the black one, oh my god, like I love how this mascara makes my lashes look. I usually go towards drugstore mascaras. I usually don't spend money on like high-end mascaras and like Colourpop is super affordable. I believe this mascara is like $8 around there. Um, and I'm so lucky that my Ulta here literally like two minutes from my house carries Colourpop. So I was able to pick the brown one. I was loving the um, black one. I don't remember which like what it's called but I was loving the black one and I ha I saw that they had the brown one which I haven't used brown mascara in a long time and when I saw it I was like oh I need to pick it up because I really really want to try it so I picked it up and I have been loving it this has been actually the only mascara I've been wearing for the past like two weeks so when I go to work I've been going for a very like natural kind of looks lately so I just usually just put on mascara and this has been like my go-to the brown one because it just makes my hazel eyes kind of like pop a little bit more. I believe there's even like mascaras at the drugstore that are even more um, expensive than that one. So that one is such a good mascara. I am hoping that they come out with like a waterproof because that would be like amazing. These next ones I have here, these are the color, uh, the ColourPop BFF Cream Gel Liners. And I picked these up because I wanted to have like liners for my waterline. I wanted an eyeliner that would literally like stick to my waterline. I have allergies like I've mentioned a couple times and my eyes tend to water like throughout the day. And these, like they don't move at all. I'm wearing today uh, the color Punch and literally like it stays on the whole day. The other day I wore uh, the like bright pink one and um, just like on like on the top of my lid and then on my waterline it looks so cute with just like brown mascara it looks super cute the next ones i have here these are the beauty or suba beauty hydro liner just let me tell you about these liners right here they're so good they uh, are water activated that means that you just need to pop a little bit of water on your cap and then grab your brush grab a little bit of that water and then just swirl it around here and then it'll give you such an amazing eyeliner. It is water activated, so these are like like dry, so they're not gonna dry up on you like throughout the like months um, because you need water to activate it and you just put it on and literally it stays on the whole day. It doesn't crack. They have so many colors. You can, you're actually able to like scrape a little bit, which I've done with the pink one and the white one. And I actually use these ones on my um, cut crease, so I'll link that up here so you guys can go and watch that one. 
Um, I scraped a little bit of this one, I scraped a little bit of the white one, combined them with some water, and it gave me this such beautiful pastel pink that like I'm so in love. So, and they're like kind of like inexpensive. I believe each one was like $14. I feel like if you're a makeup artist, these would like be bomb for your makeup kit, but um, in general, like I really, really like them. If you guys haven't tried them, they're amazing. I know that Morphe started carrying them, I don't know if in store, but definitely online. So, if you guys uh, want to pick these up, I'm gonna link them down below. They're so, so good. And I love their black one. The black one is called Grease, and it is the blackest, like super matte um, eyeliner that I've ever, ever used. The next one I have here, this is the Inglot Duraline. This is amazing if you have any like dried pomades or eyeliners that you want to use. Literally, you just do one of the drops and then it'll be, it's like magic. Like this one and it's something dry and it's going to bring it up to life. This is the second bottle I have to buy because the other one lasted me for about a year and a half. Like you don't need a lot, you just need like literally one drop and it'll like bring whatever product that's super dry bring back to life. This next favorite, this is the uh, Cinema Secrets Pro Cosmetics Makeup Cleaner. I picked this one up on Amazon. It came with like a little tin, tin thingy uh, that you just pop the cleaner inside here, swirl your brush there, give it a couple seconds and it's gonna be brand new. No product whatsoever. An amazing like instant cleaner if you're a makeup artist. Again, this one like gives you a couple seconds after and it'll be a dry um, brush and it's just amazing if you're like on the go. And then my last favorite, these glasses are so, I, I love this style first of all. I feel like they like fit my face like really nice. Um, but as you, it's like super reflective. These are the glasses that I use uh, whenever I'm on the computer for a long time. These are from Amazon, they were around $17 and they are the blue light reflective like glasses. If you're in front of a computer for a long time like I do editing or at work, I definitely recommend those. It like protects your eyes from the blue light of the computer. I really want to pick the key ones that they have, they're also like blue light, they're obviously more expensive. So I just wanted to try these um, and see if I would use them and I literally use them every single day. So yeah, I love how they look on me, like this style, like I really want to get my reading glasses like this because I really like how they look and I usually like wear them if I know that I'm going to be on the phone a lot or like on the computer, like I said, like I wear them a long period of time during the day. So. Yeah, they look really really cute. So those were all my favorites for the month of like July and August I really hope you guys enjoyed if you did pick up something that I recommended Please leave them down in this comment section I would love to know what you decided to pick up as always the products that I mentioned in this video are going to be linked down in the description box As well as all my social media and until then I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys